All right, what's good? It's your boy LJ back again with another video, and today we're gonna try to help Giannis' older brother Thanasis Antetokounmpo go from being a bench warmer into a superstar. But in order to do that, we're gonna need a little help from Giannis still. So basically, every three that Giannis makes during the season is gonna be plus one attribute upgrades for Thanasis. And I'm gonna spend a wheel before we upgrade anything to help me determine if we're gonna upgrade his shooting, his finishing, his defending, rebounding, playmaking, physicals, whatever it might be. All right, but that's really it. So let's go ahead and get to the video. All right, so last season in the 2022 through 2023 NBA season, Giannis ended up knocking down 47 threes. So that means his brother Thanasis got 47 upgrades this year. And once I spent the wheel, he ended up landing on playmaking. So you about to see the before of his playmaking and the starting that ball handling all the way to pass vision. And then you're going to see his playmaking after I upgraded everything. So it's looking up for him. You know what I'm saying? 80 ball handling, 80 speed with ball. That's the best he got right now. But let's see how the season go for him. All right, check it out. So this is what Thanasis' regular season consisted of, bro. A whole lot of sitting on the sidelines, cheering on the sidelines. Nothing new, honestly. But yeah. Yeah, bro, he only played one game so far this year in a minute of it. On top of that, that's it. But let's see if we can make some changes next year. All right, so last season, Giannis ended up knocking down 83 pointers. So that means the Nats has got 80 upgrades this year. And once I spent the wheel, it landed on finishing. So that means 80 upgrades are going towards his finishing this season. All right, now some progress is being made. As you can see, look at his finishing before and after the upgrades. Things looking up for him. And now he's a 75 overall, too, on top of all that. But let's see how this season go for him. All right, so the Nats has had his best season so far yet. I know it might not look like too much if you're looking at his stats right now. But look, four points per game, three rebounds. We didn't take it as something, you know what I'm saying? He getting in the games now. He averaging like 13 minutes per game. So, most definitely better than last year. But unfortunately for the Bucks as a whole, they was trash this year. They ended up being 11th seed in the Eastern Conference, and they ended up missing the playoffs, unfortunately, bro. As you can see, it was a decline compared to last year for Giannis in the threes. He ended up making 67 three-pointers. And this time, the wheel ended on defending and rebounding. And after I upgraded everything, the Nassas ended up becoming a 78 overall. So, let's see how the season go for him. All right, so if the Nets play well this season, his defending and rebound upgrades definitely came in handy, especially the rebound, as you can see right here. And the Bucks had it by the year than they did last year. They was able to make it to the play-in, but they ended up losing to Orlando, unfortunately, and they missed out on the playoffs once again. In the offseason, the Nets just became a free agent, and he ended up signing with the Chicago Bulls for one year. So, let's see how it go. All right, so last season, Giannis knocked down 88 threes. Wasn't expecting that, but it happened. And when I spent the wheel, he ended up landing on playmaking once again. So, here go the stats before and after. And after I upgraded everything, he ended up becoming an 83 overall. But let's see how the season go for him this year. All right, so this season went great. Honestly, bro, the Nets just became a starter for the first time. The Bulls was playing great. You know what I'm saying? They ended up being a third seed in the East, finishing with a record of 49 and 33. All right, so in the first round of playoffs this year, they ended up going against the Miami Heat, who they end up beating 4-1 in this series. In the second round, they went against the Washington Wizards, who they end up beating 4-2 in this series to advance to the conference finals. In the conference finals, the Bulls ended up going against the AFC and the Raptors, and Thanasis did end up getting injured in this series, and he sprained his finger, but that wasn't stopping nothing, because the Bulls still swore the Toronto Raptors 4 zip in that series to advance to the NBA Finals. Alright, so Thanasis made his return to the team once the Bulls went against the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals, and honestly, this series went way different than what I expected. I thought the Nuggets was going to put up more of a fight, but them boys ended up getting swept 4 zip in this series. And just like that, the Nets has got another ring this time, but on the Bulls. And he actually contributed something to the team this time. I know it might not seem like much, but you know what I'm saying? It's better than last time, so we're going to rock out with that, to be honest with you. But we on the next season. All right, so now offseason, the Nets has become a free agent, and he ended up signing to the Houston Rockets for four years. All right, so Giannis ended up knocking down 88 threes last year. And once I spent the wheel, it landed on physicals. All right, so he got the before and after once again. And after I upgraded everything, he ended up becoming an 85 overall. All right, so in the regular season, things were pretty good for the Nassas and the Houston Rockets. They ended up being the fifth seed in the West, finishing with a record of 48 and 34. So in the first round of playoffs this year, the Houston Rockets ended up going against Nicole Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And although the Houston Rockets did put up a good fight, Nicole Jokic was just too much for them boys to handle, and they ended up losing the series 4-3. to three. All right, so this season, the Nets is going to end up having 66 upgrades, and the wheel landing on shooting this time, which I was looking forward to. Now here go before and after everything. And not that I upgrade everything, he ended up becoming a 90 overall now. All right, now as you can see, them shooting upgrades, they came in handy for sure, bro. The Nets had a great year. He even became an all-star, which I was not expecting, but hey, congrats to him on that one. The Houston Rockets ended up being the sixth seed in the West, finishing with a record of 47 and 35, and now they on their way to the playoffs. All right, so in the first round of the playoffs this year, the Houston Rockets ended up going against the Memphis Grizzlies, and honestly, it was a disappointment just like last year, except for worse, because them boys ended up getting swept for a zip in the series this year. All right, so next season, the Nets ended up getting 61 upgrades, and the wheel ended up landing on defending and rebounding once again. Now he'll go look at his attributes after we changed everything, and after I upgraded everything, he ended up becoming a 92 overall. All right, now this season, the Nets was in his bag, bro. 24 points per game, nine rebounds, five assists. He had better stats than Giannis this year, and the Nets ended up becoming the key clutch player of the year too. And he was all NBA third team as well. But unfortunately, the rest of his team was trash. They ended up finishing with a record of 33 and 49, a 14th seed in the West. 
All right, so check it out. This season, the Nets end up having 58 upgrades, and the wheel end up landing on physicals once again. All right, now I'll go to before and after now of his physicals. And after I upgrade everything, he ended up becoming a 94 overall, a higher overall than Giannis. All right, so the Nets was having a good season once again, but the Houston Rockets as a whole, they were still struggling. They ended up finishing with a record of 30 and 52, the 15th seed in the West, and they missed the playoffs once again. All right, so on the offseason, the Nets is test the free agency once again. And this time, he ended up signing to the Sacramento Kings for two years and teamed up with Wimby. So I'm looking forward to see what this duo can do. All right, so the Nets is end up having 39 upgrades, which is the lowest he has so far, but I was expecting it to happen eventually. The wheel end up landing on shooting once again. And here goes before and after all his upgrades. And after everything got upgraded this time, the Nets is end up becoming a 96 overall. All right, so the regular season didn't go how I thought it was going to go for the Nets and the Kings. They end up being the 10th seed in the West, finishing with a record of 38 and 44. But the Kings did make it to the play in, and in the first round, they went against the Nets' former team, the Houston Rockets, and they ended up beating them boys. But then they went against the Memphis Grizzlies, who ended up beating them, so they ended up missing out on their playoff spot. Alright, so next year the Nets end up having 38 upgrades and the wheel end up letting them defend and rebounding once again. Now here go the before and after once again. And after I upgrade everything, he still ended up being a 96 overall. All right, now this season was even worse than last year. The Kings ended up missing the plan plus the playoffs, bro. They ended up finishing with a record of 35 and 47, being a 12th seed in the West. All right, so next season, the Nets is becoming a free agent once again, and this time he went to the Trailblazers. Now, this season, he's going to have 40 upgrades, and once I spent the wheel, it landed on finishing. And now he got a before and after of his attributes, and after that, we upgraded everything. He ended up being a 99 overall. So the Nets ended up having a solid season with more than just a solid season, bro. We went MVP. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not going to complain. So we're going to take that. And the Triple had an okay season. They ended up being the fifth seed in the West, finishing with a record of 46 and 36. Now, in the playoffs this year, the Trail Blazers ended up going against the Denver Nuggets. And it was another disappointment for the Nets in the playoffs because they didn't even get out the first round, bro. They lost 4 2 in this series and got eliminated from the playoffs. All right, so now it's looking like it's going to beat the Nets' last season. So in free agency, you end up going back to the Sacramento Kings to team up with Wimby once again. All right, so the Nets ended up getting 56 upgrades, and the wheel ended up defending and rebounding once again. All right, now he'll go before and after his attributes, and after we upgraded everything, he ended up being a 99 overall once again. All right, the Nets and the Kings went crazy. This is how I expected to go the first time he went over there, bro. They ended up being the first seed in the West, finishing with a record of 62 and 20. And the Nets won MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. He ended off the regular season great, but can he do the same in the playoffs, though? That's the question. Out right, in the first round of playoffs this year, the Kings went against the New Orleans Pelicans, and they ended up beating them boys 4-2 in that series to advance to the second round. In the second round, the Kings ended up going against the Golden State Warriors. And honestly, this series was a disappointment because I thought the Kings was going to win it all this year, but I was mistaken because they ended up losing to the Golden State Warriors 4-2. And as I expected, the Nets ended up calling him when he retired after last season, bro. And things went pretty well, to be real with you. I wasn't expecting the last two seasons to play out how they did. Those two MVPs was unexpected, I'm not going to lie. And the Nets ended up getting inducted to the Hall of Fame. Here goes some of the things he was able to accomplish throughout his career after the changes were made. He was a two-time NBA champ, two-time MVP, six-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA, two-time All-Defensive Team. He was a key clutch player of the year one time. Defensive player of the year one time. Things ended up working out pretty well, to be honest with you. I was hoping he could get a Finals MVP, but... It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? We can work with what we got. But anyways, bro, that's really the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it if you did. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, leave a like, sub, all that other little good stuff, you feel me? Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all have a blessed day, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, this is your boy, let's I'm out, y'all be smooth.